A rout in the U.S. stock market this spring pushed down the combined net worth of the nation's richest self-made women to $111 billion, a 6% drop from last year, and lowered the admission cutoff to $215 million, down from $225 million a year ago. 38 of the 100 on this list are worth less than 2021, but 51 women are wealthier, including seven newcomers and seven who returned to the ranks after having previously fallen off. Among the notable new faces, movie star Sandra Bullock and reoccurring Shark Tank judge Emma Greed. But these are the top five wealthiest self-made women of 2022. In a tie for number four, we have Marion Illich. It was another record year for Little Caesars, the pizza chain Illich co-founded with her husband, Mike, in 1959. System-wide sales reached $4.8 billion in 2021, up from $4.5 billion. Illich's Detroit Red Wings missed the NHL playoffs for the sixth straight season after having qualified for 25 years in a row. She and her son Chris, who run Illich Holdings, are partnering with billionaire developer Stephen Ross as lead donors of a $250 million University of Michigan Research and Education Center in Detroit. Also in fourth is John L. Hunt, who made her fortune in the trucking industry. Hunt rang in her 90th birthday this year at an Arkansas Razorbacks basketball game, where the state's richest woman was treated to cake and cheers during halftime. The matriarch of J.B. Hunt Transport Services, which she co-founded in 1961 with her late husband, has plenty to celebrate. Strong demand for freight transport pushed revenue up 26% last year to a record $12.2 billion. She is the largest shareholder with a 17% stake. Judy Love sits at number three, thanks to continued expansion of Love's travel stops and country stores, which Judy and her husband Tom founded in 1964. The $25.5 billion company, now run by two of their sons, opened 38 new locations in 2021 and 18 in the first five months of 2022. Judy is a director of the Love Family Fund, the family's charitable foundation. The second richest self-made woman is Judy Faulkner, her medical records company, Epic Systems, booked $3.8 billion in 2021 revenue, up 13% from 2020. The Wisconsin-based business rolled out a COVID-19 vaccine passport tool, now available to its 106 million patients who use its MyChart software. Faulkner owns 47% of the business she founded in her basement in 1979. And coming in at number one is Diane Hendricks, who made her $12.2 billion fortune through her building supplies company, ABC Supply. Hendricks has benefited from a pandemic-inspired residential housing boom. Her fortune has grown by more than $1 billion this past year, thanks to record sales at ABC Supply, the wholesale building supplies distributor she co-founded with her husband. Its sales hit nearly $15 billion, up from $12.1 billion in 2020. 